right, welcome back. People in several states experienced a total eclipse today. That included Cleveland, Ohio, first time since 1804. Folks looking at the moon completely blocking the sun. This is at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. In Carbondale, Illinois, there was a huge turnout to watch today's eclipse. Well, this is the stands at a stadium packed with people. And people at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway also watching the total eclipse. Thousands of folks filled the speedway. Everyone from all ages wearing their eclipse glasses as they were told. Meanwhile, a Virginia man has seen a total eclipse on every continent ever since he started his travels in 1998. Lloyd Franklin's always been fascinated with space and his passion for astronomy has taken him around the world. Germany, the Indian Ocean, Australia, Antarctica. Viewing the eclipse is only part of his adventures because he also explores what each country has to offer. The eclipse chasing is, is really gives you a chance to experience the world. We went down in, in uh, southern Brazil to Iguazu Falls. This is a, a photo nestled above the Andes, you know, with the totality. We took a visit to Devil's Tower you know, to uh, Mount Rushmore. Today, Franklin held an eclipse watch party with friends and family in Texas, and he already has a deposit down for a trip to Greenland to see the total solar eclipse in 2026. David Barron, meanwhile, is a science writer and an eclipse chaser. He's traveled to see eight total solar eclipses, today mark number nine. He wrote a book about the 1878 eclipse that crossed Colorado. Broadway producers read the book and actually made a play based off it. This year, he was in Waco, Texas, checking out the eclipse. He doesn't try to take pictures. Instead, he captures reactions of family and friends. Time Magazine reports the economic impact of the eclipse will reach $1.5 billion for state economies in the path of totality. The FAA estimated more than 50,000 flights ahead of the eclipse, and CBS reports the second smallest state in the nation Vermont will see as many as 200,000 people who will spend millions of dollars.